And they're off for the Kipco 1000 Guineas of 2022. And Cache is the first one to show in the journey, leading from Flash Betty and Discoveries through the opening furlong. Quite handy as Prosperous Voyage in the green and pink. They're just ahead of Tuesday in Hello You. Then Malavath who's racing in midfield in red and white. Over toward the far side is Juncture. Then Zelly, followed then closely by Tenor Brism. And behind those in yellow is Amina. Wild Beauty more towards the near side. And Sandrine at the back of the field as they head down towards the final five furlongs. And it's Cache who leads the Guineas field from Discoveries in second. Prosperous Voyage to the outside of Tuesday. Then came Hello You. Flash Betty over toward the far side and then behind that one is Tenebrism. Next is Malavath then Amina and Zelly with Sandrine Wild Beauty being pushed along towards the near side. Juncture still just about last as they race out towards the final three furlongs. Cache from the ridden along Discoveries then Prosperous Voyage. Malavath now being asked for more. Tuesday looking to come into it there over toward the left hand side. Cache with a small lead from Discoveries and Prosperous Voyage. Then Malavath Hello You in Tuesday. Tenebrism is now starting to get rolling as they go inside the final furlong and a half, and it's still Cache. She's out in front by two lengths to Tuesday over on the far running rail, then Discoveries and Prosperous Voice from Sandrine and Zelly, and then Tenebrism. It's still Cache. She's out in front by a length or so, and she's finding plenty. Prosperous Voyage and Tuesday are trying to get closer. It's Cache, though, and James Doyle for the Guinea double. Cache has won the Kitco 1000 Guineas from Prosperous Voyage, and then Tuesday and Zelly, and behind those came Amina. It is a first Group 1 success, a first classic success for the winning trainer in the 1,000 guineas, George Bowie, with Cashier, who is both high class and tenacious. That must have been some thrill, George. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, I know. She's, um, like I think we were saying before, she's, she's been a star. She's been improving and physically, mentally. She had a bit of a problem in the gates at the back end of last year and, you know, she's improved. She's settled down more and... It's, it's very hard to pick faults in her at the moment. She's a sound filly, sound minded and, and obviously very talented. You didn't shy away from racing her too. You, you went to some big races. She was relatively busy for one of, of her ability because at times these courses can be wrapped up in cotton wool a little bit. You gave her a trial run. Do you feel that that hardish campaigning has probably helped her? I think she, she thrives on her racing. I, you know, after the Nell Gwyn, I mean, she was bouncing around the next morning sort of thing. You know, she, she loves her racing and you know, we're here to race them and, you know, it, she had a break during the middle of the summer last year and I probably left her a bit short when she went to France and she missed the kick and looped the field and, you know, we then brought her back and she kept improving and but we, we, I'd never over campaign a horse that I don't think is capable of doing it but with a horse like her, she came from the breeze up, she might not have galloped by the time of the breeze ups if she'd actually been trained by me and John Burke, High Park stud, you know, did a fantastic job with her and um, no, look, we're just the lucky people to, to be looking after her at the moment. Yeah, and as you say, she's thriving on her racing. I, I guess her soundness and the, the attitude that she has allows you to do that with her. Yeah, it does. Um, you know, I never really like talking about soundness of horses and, you know, end up being lame the next day. But, you know, she's a rock of made of iron and, you know, she loves fast ground and it enables us to, to race her. And I think, you know, the, the lightly... She'll probably go to Ascot next. I don't know. We'll speak to Harry and see. But it's a long year, and you know she loves it in Newmarket. You go to the Curra or something. It might be a different ball game. But look, it's it's a nice conversation to have to have. I never thought we'd be having it. Well, exactly. I mean, she's she's done her job now. <laughs> if you if you never hit the winners' enclosure again, I doubt you'd be overly bothered. I'm sure she will. Though, in terms of your career, it, it's still early days. It's not that long ago that I was talking to you at Newmark at uh, Chelmsford after a winner and we were checking how to pronounce your name. <laughs> <laughs> We've, you've come a long way in a, in a short space of time. I think this filly was your first domestic group winner at the start of this year, wasn't she, when she won, won here? Yeah, she was. We had a couple of of Schooler and Corazon won for Nick Bradley in France last year, but and Mr Angel won the um, Pretty Polly this day last year, so it's been a good day for us the last couple of years. But um, no, first domestic group winner and she was a bit of a bridesmaid last year, Caché, and you know, she's she's taken her form to a completely different level this time around. Yeah, and the getting that Group One win on the board, getting a classic win on the board, what can that do for your career? Because you've already got a big reputation, but it, it, it's got to be big. Yeah, it's huge. It's it, 
beyond my wildest dreams really you know to, to have to have the horses that we have so soon and um yeah it's it's ev it's everything really you know to win you know we try and win a lot of bad races to start with and you know we're trying i keep trying to upgrade the quality and um you know for me this is where we as a stable we want to be trying to run in the big races and it's hard it's hard to find them you know as as you know you know doing it very successfully but to find the top top level it's not impossible they you know they're usually bred aren't they yeah. you know rather than bought and Jake Warren Harry Herbert they did a fan, you know they selected her we actually underbid her for Nick Bradley who I wouldn't like to hear <laughs> but he underbid her and um, look at two fantastic judges of, of flat horses and um, no look and delighted and to do it at your home track all the more special it means yeah. you don't have to drive anyway you can yeah, have a, exactly. a good party exactly i think we probably will <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure you will uh, congratulations enjoy the day enjoy the evening and uh, massive congratulations as i say cool thanks mate a beaming james doyle has landed a guineas double this weekend he's brought up that double on cache what a weekend james how did that feel yeah incredible i have to say well, not so emotional today after getting yesterday right but this is still very much enjoyable. I mean, incredible. Obviously, you know this filly from last year. I got, got to sit on her a couple of times, and we were placing the filly's mile, and George just felt she'd see the mile out a bit stronger um, as she's developed physically over the winter, and she looked, I have to say, she looked a picture going around the paddock today. She loves this track. She's, it's almost, you know, she knows it inside out. She's ran here a few times, but she almost eyes up the dip and just flies through it like it's not there, and... Obviously, we were just we were praying for the line late on. We'd probably done sort of plenty um, running down into the dip, so but thankfully the line came just in time for us. So yeah, full credit to to George Bowie and all his team, and it's great for High Clear to have another high class filly. Yeah, and lots of people there to greet you. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? It's, you know, it's it's fantastic to to see the crowds back the way they have been the last couple of days, and for all the High Clear members, it's fantastic to see them all here today. So really enjoyable. I won't keep you any longer, so you need to get weighed in, but I'm hoping that your mum didn't get a flight back yet. <laughs> no, she's still here. She met me on the track again today, so bless her. No, it's great to have her here, and my sister obviously watching in America, so brilliant. Well done, James. Delighted for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Good man. Thanks. Cheers, James.